Today we're going to take a close-up look inside of a burner fuel pump. First thing you're going to want to do is remove this fuel line. So this fuel pump can be used as a single pipe system or a two pipe system this is by inserting a bypass plug in this return port. You have two inlet ports, one return port on the bottom. Also, this is where your bypass plug would be inserted. And then up here on the very top, this is where you would connect your pressure gauge. Also located here on the bottom, this is your bleed port. And right here in the back is where you would adjust your fuel pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these four screws and we'll take a look inside. So the easy way to open up this fuel pump is going to be to take a screwdriver, just stick it behind the flange and then just turn it. It should pop free just like that. Now I'm going to slide this off. So inside of the cap, I have the old gasket. And I have the strainer. Just goes right over the top of the pump. It's got some spring pressure pushing out on the gear. Gasket. So if you look close at this gear, um, the backside's got a little flat cut in. And if you look here, right here on the shaft, it has a little tiny key. And this is a two-stage pump. Here's the second gear inside the pump. So this shaft will pull right out of the pump. And this gear can slide off this direction. So this is the pump seal I was talking about in one of my other videos, where if you're using Teflon tape and it builds up too much pressure, it can start leaking fuel here and go right inside into the burner and actually cause a fire. All right, so I got the clip removed. And this is the pump seal. So now I'm going to show you where the bypass plug is installed inside the return line. So that's the bypass plug. I'll go ahead and remove it. <laughs> 